Hi everyone, uh, my name is Javin. I'm from Liang Crispy Row. Today I'm very honored and I'm very honored and very happy to be able to share with you Liang Crispy Row. So, uh, may I share my slides? Am I the co-host? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I try? Okay. Mm, okay. Can you see? All right. So again. Uh, thank you for the invite. Uh, I'm very honored to be able to share with you and to meet everyone here online. Okay, so Liang Crispy Row, we started the business uh, 14 years, 16 years ago in 2004. So right now, we are one of the leading fast food chain restaurants with 12,000 outlets spanning across 300 major cities in the in China, in the US, in UK, in Italy, Spain, and over here in uh, Asia, we are in Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, and Vietnam. So uh, apart from opening outlets, we also our products can be found in 600 major modern trade uh, chain stores. Such as locally, we are available in Aeon, in uh, Jaya Grocer. In Singapore, we are in NTUC. In the US, we are in Costco, Walmart, Tesco, etc. Okay, so Lamb Crispy Roll is affordable all-day food, suitable for all age group and then also for all races. The whole business model itself is highly versatile and universal. Okay, so we are based here in Johor Bahru for our Asia Pacific region. So this is my company and we are accredited with all of the um, quality assurance certifications. So okay, so we currently export our products to 19 countries. So whenever we go into a export into a country, we have to fulfill and comply with the uh, regulations. And hence, when we export to the US, we gotten ourselves FDA and USDA organic. So uh, to produce the product itself, we have also gotten our ISO 901 and ISO 22000. In Malaysia, we have gotten ourselves Jackin Halal. The product itself is produced in China and hence we have gotten Jackin Halal's recognized China Halal, which is this ARA Halal certificate. And last year, in 2019, we opened our stores in Indonesia and also we gotten ourselves the MUI Halal of Indonesia. So, yeah. Like what I mentioned just now, uh, our products are produced in our six factories in China and Indonesia. So uh, our our production capacity annually is about 10, 100,000 tons. And put that into perspective, it's about 3 million pieces of Prata every day in our six factories. So uh, right now we have about 38 distribution hubs across Asia and in the US. So what we do is that we produce the product and then we ship it out to our distribution centers. And from there on, we will then export into different countries. Okay, so what makes our product so special? Basically, uh, the goodness comes from the origin. Because Liang Crispy Roll started out with opening outlets and our taste is the first priority. We don't compromise it through food costs or, or any other factors. Taste is our first priority. We also work with uh, renowned suppliers such as uh, Kofco, Wilmar, Lupon in order to make sure you know our quality is consistent across all of the factories. We also use our state-of-the-art 32 step production and practice strict food uh, safety control. You know this is very crucial to us because as you know our partner right now is uh, Jay Chow and we have other partners coming in as well. So you know Jay Chow have not a single um, unhealthy news about him or this world. So we, do, we, we, we want to uphold you know, the credibility and also our food uh, quality. Okay, so yeah, a lot of you guys, you, you were, when you heard of Young Crispy Roll, you might not remember our full name, but I think you will remember J. Charles Prata or J. Charles Roti or Zhou Jie Lun So in 2013, we are very happy and honored to have uh, Jay coming in as our brand ambassador. So uh, we have worked together for six years before he decided, you know, he wanted to come in as a business partner. So in 2019 October, he, with his interest and his confidence in the brand, we, uh, Jay Chow come in as a business partner and a shareholders. And right now we are exploring different countries together with Jay. Right, so this is some of the news. You know, when Jay Chow comes to Malaysia, he often visit our store because it is his business as well. So yeah, these are some of the news. So whenever he comes with uh, his wife to Pinewood Studio here in Skandar Putri for video movie shooting, you know, he will always stay in Johor Bahru. So yeah, for Liang fans, 
feel free to drop by our store. I might give you some insider news when you see coming, but not now that our border is closed. Okay, so currently we are based in 19 countries. Here in the Asia, we are in Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, Vietnam, Korea, and then down, down south, we are in Australia and New Zealand. So uh, in on the west side, we are in Canada and the US, in UK, Spain, Germany, and Italy. So our next stop will actually be in South Africa and then also in uh, Middle East with our with our establishment here in uh, Malaysia and Indonesia. So as some of you might know, the next FIFA World Cup will be hosted in Qatar in November next year. So we are ready to open our stores to cater to you know people from all over the world into the uh, in the into Middle East. So our first store will start in Qatar and then subsequently in Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and also Oman. Okay, so our global expansion started in 2012 where we opened three outlets in New York. So in 2017, that is when we, uh, Liang Malaysia, brought the brand into Malaysia. We opened our first store in December 2017 in Johor Bahru. And then uh, at the peak, we opened 73 outlets by 2020. So three months down the road after opening the first store in 2018, we are being appointed as Southeast Asia partner. And then we also joined the group as a shareholder to cover the region of Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, Brunei, Cambodia, and Laos. So right now, uh, we are we are happy that you know we have opened in four countries of the region, and then also we joined our our main com our mother company to expand into other regions in the world. Okay, so we gotten our appointment in March 2018, and then in 2018 June we opened our first store in Singapore in Vivo City, and subsequently four outlets. So in December 2018, we opened our first store in West Jakarta, and then subsequently the 74th store opened in March last year. Okay, so uh, in 2019, that's when the pandemic break, you know, happened. Uh, before that, we opened, we worked with SBC Group of uh, South Korea, which is also the owner of Paris Baguette, to open outlets in South Korea, and then uh, subsequently in Melbourne, Australia, in Ho Chi Minh City, and in Los Angeles in 2019. Okay, so in 2020, um, we welcomed Jay Chow's investment into our mother company, and then we also opened our first store in Manila, in Tokyo, in Chicago, and in London last year. So this is uh, about our global expansion. Uh, we don't open just open uh, outlets we also make sure you know we go into the fmcg fast moving consumer goods market with our uh, with our frozen food later on my sharing i will share with you guys what do we have to offer okay okay so for those who have just joined uh i'm my name is javin i come from young crispy Row. So I'll be sharing on how do we grow our 12,800 stores globally and how do we sell 2 million pieces of Prata every day. Okay, so this is how our store looks like. So this is our first batch of store in China. As you can see, it bears the name Yang Quan Qi, which is our mother company's uh, company name. Lah. Okay, so basically, uh, as some of you might have observed, we have transformed from Liang Sandwich Bar to Liang Crispy Road. And the main reason of the transform is basically to unify all the stores in all the countries that we are in to be under one single brand identity which is Liang Crispy Row. So as you can see right now, uh, we are opening stores in Indonesia, in Philippines and in South Korea and in and in Hollywood in the US, we are all bearing the name Liang Crispy Row. So gradually we will be transforming all of the Liang Sandwich Bar into Liang Crispy Row. Okay, so this is where we are in Malaysia. Currently we cover seven states and then uh, we are not yet in the East Coast and we are not in Langkawi and uh, other part of Sabah and Sarawak. So we welcome, you know, franchise inquiries uh, to join us. This is how our store looks like. So on the uh, top left, you can see that is our Stromo outlet and then the mines in Genting Sky Avenue, in Pavilion, in KLCC. So, and these are some of our opening team. Okay, so uh, uh, I, I believe some of you might have been, been there, tried our food, you know, uh, supported us. And thank you so much for the love and the respect for the brand. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I'm here to share the essence of today's, uh, today's meeting. Okay, so I'm here to present to you uh, what we call Liang Integrated Business Model. Basically, we grow revolutionary through a more than just a store concept. Okay, so conventionally, uh, we 
Liang, whenever we go to a new country, a new territory, we will be opening Liang Crispy Roll outlets. So that is B2DB, as a manufacturer and a brand owner, we uh, uh, produce for our own outlets, so uh, business to business. And subsequently, we will establish individual e-commerce platform to sell directly to the customer. So meaning our FMCG product, our frozen pratas, our paste, our condiments, and our our Sobian uh, Samkik. Okay, so after that, what is the next step? Basically, when you sell business to consumer, the next step will be you sell to more business so that more business can sell to more consumer. So right now, uh, we in Malaysia, we have about 500 over point of sales, meaning in 500 over places, you are able to pick up our products. So from B2B to B2C to B2B to C, we develop strategic business alliances with businesses, with FMV chain store, with uh, mini market operators to uh, different platforms. And then lastly, it will be online to offline and likewise. Basically, this is a whole new brand experience with the brand. So when I think most of the, most of Malaysians they see the brand, they see the brand as uh, outlets and then subsequently you see more of our products in all different segments. Okay. So this is a small commercial. Oh, by the way, uh, sorry, I think the time is about there. Alright, so these are some of our products. Uh, we have our family pack, commercial pack, and then uh, some of the condiments. So basically, uh, here in the chat room, I think if there is anybody uh, doing business, uh, no matter if you're an offline channel, if you operate hypermarket, convenience stores, you know, gourmet food grocer, or, or even if you are a frozen food supplier, you can talk to us and carry our products, list them into your platform. like. Uh, online channels such as e-commerce retailers, group buy, you know, Facebook broadcaster, or even if you are Lazada or Shopee seller, be able to carry out products. We have uh, about 80 STU right now. My goal is to expand to 200 STU by Q2 next year, so that you know we have more to offer to our distributors and also our dealers. So uh, we promote our products on e-commerce uh, platform through some of the Wang Fong like uh, China's Ko Hong Ike, Li Jiaqi, Austin Lee, and also we are the number one live broadcaster in China. So basically what we did for us uh, about three months ago is in five seconds of sales, she can she managed to sell about four million pieces of uh, Prata. That is uh, quite a amazing uh, result. And me and my team actually, we are very, we are very excited and also anxious about tonight because it's double eleven. We last year double eleven we clocked in twenty five million yuan of sales, uh, in one day. So uh, for this year we have uh, more distributors and then also we have more influence over the uh, over the web lah. Okay, so uh, I can show you us. Okay, all right. So apart from that, we also work with F and B clients. Like KFC China is our client as well. Basically, what we do is that we OEM up to the specifications of uh, KFC's requirement, so that they take our product and wrap. In, with their fried chicken and then they roll out something like, like a fold over a wrap. So same goes with uh, Yoshinoya China. They take, they took our products, they wrap it with their food and then they serve. Because it's one of our longest customers, we have been we have been supplying to them about seven years right now. They have about 2,600 stores in China selling fried chicken. So basically what they do is that they take our prata and wrap it on the right bottom, you can see. So in Malaysia, we work with my own brands, what tank ages ago, Awamiba. And then also we work with some of the new tea store like Pretty Q in Johor, Gaktao Fried Chicken, and then also set up Corner and Big Onions Caterer. So uh, like just now I met uh, Mr. Forrest here on, on this chat room. I think if you are interested, we can explore something together. You know, we can become your supplier. We can also produce, you know, provide to you some of the key selling factor of our products. I will be showing you a video of our latest uh, equipment to support FMB chain store. So basically this machine doesn't require any technique. You can just cook our prata 
Conventionally, you need about 3 to 4 minutes, but with this, you can produce 2 prata in 60 seconds. And there's no technique involved. Basically, what you do is you preset the temperature and the time. You just place the frozen prata in, and then you can just... Uh, yeah, it's ready in 60 seconds. Basically, this is uh, what we can offer. So, uh, to all of the uh, F&B chain store, I, I, we are sincere to work with you. We can customize to you know the size, the oil level, the flavors, everything. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the time is up. Can I still continue? Or right. yes, yes, feel free to continue. I also want to listen. <laughs> So right now, uh, Liang, we have four different business segments. Uh, we started with export, so we currently export to 19 countries with five more coming up, which I mentioned just now in South Africa, in uh, the Middle East with four countries. So moving up, we will be uh, you know, taking this integrated business uh, model wherever we go. So of course, we will start with outlets first, and then subsequently FMCG, subsequently to FMB supply, and then lastly, you know, we do modern trade. So in the e-commerce side, we are the market leader in China with our just type in uh, so dropping. You know, you will see in uh, Taobao, Tianmao, Jingdong, you know. And then we in Malaysia as well, we have been in, uh, we are in Shopee and Lazada and also some of the food deliveries platform. So we also urge, you know, uh, live broadcaster, Zibo Ping Tai, Tai Go Ping Tai, uh, you can, you can uh, let us know your interest and then we can propose you something. Also on the modern trade, we are available in about in Aeon, in Aeon Max Value, Aeon Bake, Real Grocer, uh, and then also some of the uh, gourmet grocers such as uh, Olive Grocer. And in, in Indonesia, we are in branch market. We also work with some of the frozen food suppliers such as, such as Gia Marine, Panika, Akina Farm, Gun Brothers, Jepo. All these are our, our long-time customer and distributor in different parts of Malaysia. Okay. So, like I said just now, we always we take this integrated business uh, model and then we duplicate into different into different uh, countries and different regions and from there we grow and then from there we will have the synergy to to expand into different other places. Yeah. So a lot of the international celebrities such as Jackie Chan, uh, Mike Tyson, Na Ying Yugen or Kalam Yu, they are our big fan of Liang. Whenever they go, you know, they will always love our food and we always make it available to them. Okay. So before I end my sharing, I would like to uh, show you guys a video. I think uh, it is my partner in China. He's also the founder of Liang Crispy Roll. I would like to invite him, not into the, this chat room, but I would like to show you a video and I think uh, it will have a better, clearer understanding of what we are and what we do. All right, apologize that the video will be conducted in Chinese. Sorry to non-speaking Chinese uh, friends here. All right, so without further ado, I will just play his video.
生是一个原创音乐歌手，而梁泉齐美也是一个台湾手打笔的原创品牌。我们也开创了手打笔这一品类。我们和别人之间，不论是价值观上也好，还是我们在原创的角度上也好，这都是使我们能走到今天的主要原因。就像音乐的创作理念一样，就是要迈向国际啊，然后。我觉得跟这个梁泉青美其实一样，是啊，走向全世界。To thank you for Eden and Charles and Wani and everybody in VOEX for giving my, me and my company an opportunity to present to you Young Chris Biro. This is my contact. Feel free to give me a call if you have anything in mind. I believe my our integrated business model can be a part of your business as well. So speak to me. Thank you. This is my contact here. All right. Thank you. So, so Javin, so far, um, like in coming to O two two, right? Do you have any plan like you have in KL or any part、mm. of、uh, Malaysia? Okay, so、uh, in terms of expansion, yes, we will regain our momentum because in twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen, we opened a lot of stores. In fact,、uh, we opened at our highest、uh, record. We opened about fifty outlets in one year. But、uh, unfortunately, because ninety five percent of our stores are located either in malls or in theme parks or in universities or airports, that's why we are badly hit due to you know movement control order. But nonetheless, throughout these、uh, two years, you know almost two years into the pandemic, we have also explored and open up and establish our other segment before you know earlier than、uh, our schedule. So with us, you know, entering into different segment. You know, into F and B supply, into、uh, e-commerce, and then also into modern trade. You know, we find ourselves, you know, more、uh, exposed to more Malaysians. So,、uh, in next year, in Q1 and Q2, we'll be reopening in Malacca, in Ipoh, in Penang, and then mostly most of our openings will be in Kang Bahru. Yeah. So,、uh, you know, we doing business in the mall. We are all facing challenges, but nonetheless, you know, our brand we. Throughout our 16 years with Liang Kuspiro, I think we don't mind closing. You see, because when we reopen, we reopen with four different business model integrated into one store. So, can I further further elaborate on this、uh, integrated business model? So, basically, if today you become our franchisees, you get to enjoy all different four four different business models all together. So, meaning you are part of the family. You are you are free to you know look for your own.、Um, Distributor of the frozen food, you are also open to supply to you know. Of, of course, you have to.、Uh, it doesn't conflict of the interest. It doesn't conflict with what we are doing. You are you are free to do that as well. And then you are feel you are free to even you know become a small territory distributor through our、uh, affiliate account on our e-commerce. So how do I um I, I I further elaborate on this point? So when you become our franchisee, you know you get a unique code. Uh, of our website, so、uh, let's say triple w dot liang asia dot com slash eden park. Okay, so this is your link, or maybe slash pavilion slash ss fifteen. Okay, so from there, you know, for the sales gather, you know, from your link, you know, the sales go into your outlet. So you don't sell only in your shop; you sell everywhere. So long there is internet, there is business for you. So、uh, for our New retail outlets,、uh, it will bear、uh, like what I've mentioned just now, lah. So look forward to our store. Hey, that is very interesting. So, so Jerry, what you are saying that 
So when when take up this franchise, not only one brand, okay, all brands will be under one roof, which is uh, like people call shop and shop, tian zhong tian kind of things. But on top of the traditional uh, physical outlet, and then your franchisee will can actually sell your uh, ready products. Yes. Oh, that is yeah. very interesting. It means that Pakala online and offline. Uh. Yes, yes, and we do the infrastructure for you from payment gateway to tracking orders to managing deliveries to uh, you know opening account, credit control checks, background checks. All this will you know you can link up to our our uh, HQ system so that you know you do business more easier. You don't have to you know worry about all that. Basically, uh, it is a worry free uh, business. Uh, it's, it's a single brand, it's still Young Crispy Roll, but with different models. You can do business in different ways, but you share our uh, all of our resources, lah, basically. Yeah. Okay, Joey, I would like to know also, because some people ask me, right, actually, what are the, um, like, this uh, Liang Crispy Roll, the, is, it, is it a rebranding? Can we call it as a rebranding? Is it a transformation from the original brand? And then what are the key differences? Okay, so uh, it's a very good question and I thank you for the opportunity to be able to you know, talk to you guys about it. So basically, Liang Crispy Roll uh, evolved from, from many different brands. We started out with Liang Quan Chi Mai, there's no English name. So we opened about 9,000 outlets in China. So Liang Sandwich Bar is actually, I branded it when I brought it in from China. I need an English name. So back then, you know, we call it Sandwich Bar because the concept is, you know, you drop by, you grab something, you can you know, most of our store, we have some small sitting bar counters for you to rest. You know, after shopping, you know, you can just rest. That's why I call Liang Sandwich Bar. So, moving forward, we opened Liang Sandwich Bar in Singapore, in Indonesia, and in Vietnam. These few countries. But eventually, uh, Liang Sandwich Bar is, also, is only there after 2017. So, before 2017, we are caught in different names. Like in the US, we are called Kung Fu Ping, KFB. And then in uh, Korea, it is bearing Liang Quan Chi Mei. So, what do we do is that we want a brand to unify all stores, different batches of store, different countries, different batches of our more than 10,000 outlets. So, when Jay Chow uh, came in as a business partner in the end of 2019, we come up with this brand called Liang Crispy Roll. You know, because whenever you think of a sandwich, you might think of Subway or O'Brien's or different other brands. And Crispy Roll, it, it is our own um, identity. There's no one in this world who sells Crispy Roll. We are the founder of Crispy Roll. We are the only brand of Crispy Roll. And hence, we unify all of our outlets in different countries into one uniform brand called Lian Crispy Roll. So uh, with Lian Crispy Roll, I think if not because of the pandemic, we will have run even faster because you know uh, we attracted a lot of uh, investment we have attracted a lot of uh, interested like-minded like value uh, business partner into our into our mother company and hence uh, we are here ready to offer more like what my like what Jay Chow have mentioned just now woman is listening our mission is to produce the best crispy roll best meaning you get from ingredient to branding to uh, you know, to, to all of the things, you know, uh, the taste, the crispiness, the, the flakiness, everything. So we actually, you know, Liang Crispy Roll, our product is priced much higher than our competitor. Even one, one to two times higher. But I think in these days, you know, we don't, we don't uh, eat a lot of prata. We might, you know, eat once or twice a week. So we don't go for the super affordable one. Yes, of course, there are some cost conscious ones. But we are the Gome uh, Prata manufacturer. Okay, okay. Thanks for thanks for sharing. Actually, Javier, I have lot of small question to ask you also, but I don't occupy too much of time. Charles, I saw there's one uh, question from from our yes. participant here, right? Can okay. you please, there's, uh, there's a question. So, uh, is there any opportunity for newbie with small investment fund to join Lang Spiro? Yeah, sure. Actually, uh, like. A lot of people, when they think of Liang Crispy Roll, they think of opening Liang store. But I think Liang store, uh, yes, you might need uh, to set aside a working capital of about 400,000, including all the deposit and uh, renovations, all that. Lah. 
So uh, we have introduced also food trucks. So food truck basically we buy the trucks, we do it up, and then we get it equipped, and then we rent to you at a very minimum price, so that you know you are able to have enjoy the flexibility in terms of locations, and then you can start business with a very very low setup cost. But nonetheless, if you are not interested in you know operating uh, retail outlets or even mobile trucks. You can also be our distributor to sell our products, to market it out to your neighborhood stores, or you know, uh, if you have some connections, your upstream, downstream, you know, your your supplier or customers, you are able to explore that. And then uh, one thing good about uh, working with us is that you know we have the infrastructure ready for you. So in fact, you know, when you do business, you you don't have to you don't have to think about what 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 to do about it lah. And and I think. A lot of those uh, Zibo Ping Hai, when they work with us, we don't ask them to store our goods. We they don't need to have a logistic hub. They don't need to have a warehouse. Basically, they just sell, and we will do the fulfillment for them. Even uh, even you know, these are one of the options. Of course, we do have some dealers, uh, some frozen food dealers, suppliers. They took our products, they store at their showroom, and then they fulfill themselves. But nonetheless, uh, we are very flexible in terms of how we can work together. And if you are a restaurant owner or cafe owner, you can also work with us with our product as well. Like you know, we we as we purposely uh, invented the contact view just now that I show you guys. That is ultra afford and ultra uh, how to say efficient. Basically, you know, if you are at a very very high traffic area, you just go through the three machines and you are good to go. You are good to serve about ten pratas every minute. That is more than enough, even for caterer. Yeah. So uh, I see just now um, one catering from BNX Group, Bruce Ban, and then uh, Mr. Forrest from Tiger Zipa. I think you are all our potential uh, partners, potential customers. I think my products suits your menu a lot. And you know we have been working with Big Onions Caterer. They they took our products and wrapped it up with their own fillings. That is even that is also possible. Yeah. So. Anything that you have in mind or you want to ask me, you can always. I will be in my breakout room shortly. You can uh, come in and know more about it. Yeah, and and I'm sincere and happy to work with you. Okay, Javin, correct me if I'm wrong. So what I understand from here, right, being your franchisee or licensee, a lot of uh, worry that normally have to worry by the operator. Now they don't need to worry basically because you have the size, you have the system. Especially inventory, all these stockies, your side that can actually fully, uh, how to say, you have a full, sub, you have a full uh, support. Okay, what we understand because we see a lot of franchise business also. Sometimes a lot of operator when they take over the brand or they run the brand, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of things they seem to worry, like stock ordering lah, all these things. And then even though like ourselves, we do have some brands also, but. We are not really in a fully. We we don't get a full support from the HQ itself. For example, sometimes we we don't have the problem stock lah, stock order not enough lah. All these small little problem that happen. But what I understand from your side, your side you have already built the system, and then all these whoever take up your brand, uh, from online to offline, from the inventory from support you already have the system. Okay, to help them on this, correct? Yes. Yes. In fact, uh. Because our franchisees, uh, some of them they are first-time business owner, so in terms of uh, ordering or managing staff or you know running the whole business, they might have some um, that they might have some difficulties or you know when we are in the F&B uh, industry, uh, staff turnover is high. Today you train this staff, maybe next two months they are no longer there. So yes, yes, yes. How do You're we feeling it already, Eden. <laughs> You know, how do we pass on the message? That's why you know it, it's compulsory for owner himself or herself to come in for our training, and then later on, you know, we try our best not to have too much uh, human error in terms of ordering, in terms of uh, dealing with HQ, and hence uh, our post system is actually a cloud-based one that can track, you know, every outlet, every hour, every item, and then we will set a minimum and a maximum uh, quantity, and then it will be. The order will be auto generated. So uh, I mean, in the long run, it's easier for the owner to manage the store, and then also even though you know when they have multiple outlets with us, it's easier for us uh, for us to manage them and for them to manage the staff in the business. So I mean, uh, we have been improving you know along these sixteen years, 
you know, we we just opened uh, our global door lah ten years ago. But for every market we went into, we take in you know the the challenges and also the opportunity. How can we improve on it? Yeah. So with our new retail outlets, you know, with uh, different business model, it will be a more integrated business uh, ownership experience with Liang Crispy Roll. Yeah. Okay, Charles. I think after today's session, next week we make an appointment with Mr. Javin because Javin today he is not only offering one brand. What I understand, he himself here actually from the group of the companies, he got different brand and different business model. So what we should do, right? We should actually uh, differentiate all these kind of different working method clearly. So whoever our investor next time, if they want to understand, they come on our portal. They can select whichever that suitable for that. Some people they might want to run a full outlet or half outlet. Some people they might want want to run a food truck. Some people might want to be uh, take your uh, become your distributor, take your products only. I think all these are differences. So we need to compile separately clearly so that our investor and business partner they can know which one is suitable for that. Okay, thanks for sharing, Javin.